What were you expecting? Were you thinking he would pull a rabbit out of his hat and say, look at this? No, he came up with something that everyone is interested in. If I were to do it, I'd choose them because I can get the tonnage and reliability I need so that they would be my first choice. The things I think and predict a lot of North American car companies have pulled out of the auto and EV worlds because they're listening to what Wall Street has to say. But I think there will be a shift around the election when people start to think about who might win. And that will probably be a bigger factor than a Sunuum is one of my favorite philosophers. And he says all the time that you should attack or your enemy is, is not who's the enemy. Well, the enemy to the Chinese is any, any OEM, any ice manufacturing OEM. Where is that enemy not well? They're not in electric. Those MVAs sat there thinking, oh, we don't have to worry. We're, we're going to have sunshine forever. And when you get people talking like that, they can't figure out what the future is going to be. And the future was not that dim reflection of the past. They, they did nothing. And people who sit on their hands usually get conquered, and that's what's going to happen. The Chinese are going to bring their cars over. They're going to be quite nice. Their qualities are going to be very good. So the learners are going to win the learn. Ed, those people who understand the old rules, they're going to lose. The Chinese are going to show up. Their cars are going to be just like the Japanese were. Initially, when they came into the United States, the Japanese cars were high quality. They were gas sippers, and everybody wanted to get low cost. Gasoline. And so consequently, you're going to see a return of that invasion. But nobody pays attention to history. They're going to be in big, big trouble. You can't, you can't possibly win. When you've got people at the top of the house thinking that somehow the Chinese are just going to give us some Chinese junk. What's going to happen when that car shows up? Let's talk about something that will definitely make waves in the history of Tesla stock. That's right, we're talking about Sandy Monroe, the famous industry expert whose predictions could really shake up the market. In this episode, we'll look at SY's latest revelations that could change the course of Tesla stock. From game-changing advances in battery technology, to groundbreaking insights into global supply chains. Sandy Monroe's knowledge is about to rock the technology developing. Hold on tight, because you won't want to miss a word of this conversation. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Let's get right to it. This is Tesla Stock News. Sai is sharing some very important insights. He's been working closely with suppliers and thinking about when the era of traditional vehicles will end. He first thought it would happen in 2030, but now he thinks it could happen as early as 2028. Sandy Monroe's bold predictions suggest that by 2028, a shocking 50% of vehicles on the world's roads could be electric. Let that sink in for a moment. We're not just talking about a small change. We're talking about a seismic shift in the automotive landscape. But wait. It gets even more exciting. This shift isn't just happening in the United States. It's happening all over the world, from the busy streets of New York to the winding roads of Tokyo. As electric cars become more popular, they will likely change how people around the world commute, travel, and connect with their surroundings. Imagine these crowded cities lit up by the glow of electric cars quietly moving through the streets. Areas of land electric cars can drive through steep mountain passes and peaceful country roads without being bothered by the noise of combustion engines. But what's causing this monumental shift? Battery technology improvements that have made electric cars easier to get and cheaper to buy are two things that have come together. People are making greener choices because they are becoming more aware of the world. Governments around the world are also putting in place policies and incentives to speed up the switch to electric mobility which is adding to the electric revolution. Now, some skeptics might be wondering if we're really ready for this. Do we have enough factories and battery plants? Well, size right. The infrastructure is already there, just not necessarily right here. And with more people like you and me wanting electric cars, it's only going to get better. It's free to charge, which saves a lot on petrol. Take this guy with the Chevy Bolt, for instance. 
he's slashed his monthly travel expenses from $1.125 to just $1.09. That's some serious savings right there, but hey, we get it. Change can be daunting, especially for those skeptical of climate change or suspicious of government agendas. But here's the thing. This isn't just about us. It's about the future we're building for the next generation. And trust me when I say it's the... It's kids who are leading the charge. When you see those little ones coming up passionate about a cleaner, greener tomorrow, you realize it's not just about us anymore. It's about them and what kind of world we're leaving in their hands. There's a lot to unpack here. And size hitting the nail on the head with some game-changing insights. Now forget about those traditional marketing strategies targeting the 35 to 55 demographic size. Got his sight set further ahead, thinking about where we'll be in a decade. And let's be real, he's not your typical marketing guru with an MBA. But hey, who needs fancy degrees when you've got vision right now? Let's talk numbers. Right now, Tesla is currently leading the way with a huge 70% market share, leaving competitors like Ford far behind with only about 7%. But wait, the real game changer is just around the corner. Not sugarcoating it, he's pointing straight at that chart that shows a decade of global EV sales. And guess what? China is not to be ignored. With companies like Bid and Cattle leading the way, they're about to shake things up big time, possibly taking 30% of the U.S. market. But here's the catch. Are we ready for the flood of Chinese cars? Will they even be able to compete? That's where things get a little tricky. You see, there's this thing called the Inflation Reduction Act into thin air. By 2030, all parts, materials, and accessories for vehicles must come from the U.S., or else they won't be eligible for certain rewards. But there's a catch. It's all about the money. Those incentives are tempting, but let's not lose sight of the bigger picture. Gary makes a good point. If people want the car, they'll buy it, no matter where it's made. And guess what? The price of electric cars is going down. They're becoming even more appealing because of this trend. But wait, what if someone says Biden will stop imports? Well, guess where GM makes its money? The U.S. system has the numbers to back it up. Just look at Volkswagen and General Motors. Their sales in China have dropped sharply, and their profits have been cut in half. Controlling a big part of the market must give investors trust, and it does. Bring out the confidence in Tesla. You know who else is optimistic about Tesla? Our friends at Seeking Alpha. When it comes to Tesla's amazing growth, it's not enough to just watch from the sidelines for Tesla bulls and people who are always on the lookout for the next stock market gem. See